It was a bright summer morning at the temple. The young monk Haku sat by the calm pond, deeply in meditation. He contemplated the nature of life and how everything arises, exists briefly, then passes away. As he became lost in thought, his master, the wise Zen monk Tanrei, approached quietly. In his weathered hands, Tanrei held a small bowl of salt. Without a word, he handed the bowl to Haku. Haku looked at his master quizzically. Taste this salt, Tanrei said simply. Haku took a pinch of salt crystals and placed them on his tongue. Immediately his mouth was filled with the sharp, pungent taste. As the salt dissolved, the intensity of the flavor passed. What did you experience? asked Tanrei. Haku replied, When I first tasted the salt, it was very strong, but after a moment the taste was gone. Tanrei nodded. Such is the nature of life. Joy and sorrow, pleasure and pain arise vividly, then fade away. Everything that exists is impermanent. Haku pondered his master's words. He understood the truth of it, yet it left him unsatisfied. But master, Haku said, if life is so fleeting and impermanent, is there any lasting essence? Is there nothing real? Tanrai smiled gently at his student's eagerness. Come with me, he said. The two monks walked in contemplative silence through the temple gardens. Pink lotus flowers bloomed on the surface of the ponds. The sweet fragrance of jasmine hung in the air. They arrived at the kitchen where the cook was brewing broth in a great steaming pot. Tanrai lifted the lid and was enveloped by the rich aroma. He ladled some broth into a bowl and offered it to Haku. Drink this, he instructed. Haku sipped the savory broth. Complex flavors blossomed on his tongue, tender vegetables, earthy mushrooms, hints of garlic and ginger. Although the individual ingredients fade away, there is an enduring essence, mused Tanrai. So it is with life. Each moment arises and passes, but the true nature remains unchanged. Haku's eyes widened with dawning insight. His master's wisdom had pierced the veil. Bowing deeply, Haku thanked his master for the teaching. Tanrai smiled and patted his student's shoulder affectionately before walking back to the temple. Haku remained in the kitchen, lost in contemplation. He realized the essence behind his master's lesson, that beneath the surface waves of change, there was a deeper reality. Like the salt and the broth, each experience dissolved into the next. Joy faded into sorrow and pleasure into pain. But underlying all of it, there was something eternal, the living awareness that experienced each moment. This awareness was not shaken by the passing sensations. It embraced all changing phenomena with equanimity. It was the still, wise observer that dwelled behind Haku's eyes. And just as the taste of salt holds no trace of the dissolved crystals, Haku thought, so is my true nature untouched by the rising and falling of phenomena. What seemed like an endless cycle of birth and death was but the ocean's waves, and he was the ocean. As Haku immersed himself in this realization, everything became clear. The illusory walls between self and other melted away. In that instant, he grasped the essence of life, that beneath the surface lies a timeless being. A sense of profound peace enveloped Haku, how simple it was, yet how elusive. All his years of seeking had culminated in this moment of wordless understanding. With a lightness in his step, he walked to the pond and knelt by its tranquil edge. The face reflected back at him was the same, yet somehow changed. Behind the eyes was an ancient wisdom that the salt had unlocked. Haku cupped the cool water in his hands and took a drink. The pond's essence flowed through him, wave returning to ocean. All was as it should be. The old monk Tanrei watched his student from the temple steps. Seeing the transformation in Haku, a smile creased his worn face. His task was complete. The fruit was ripe, the lesson learned, not through words or logic, but through the simple taste of salt. Such was the genius of Zen. In the mundane was hidden the sacred, in a grain of salt the sea was revealed. Tanrai turned and walked slowly back inside, leaving Haku to contemplate the pond in peace. The morning sun warmed the stones of the silent temple. Somewhere a bird began to sing, two notes rising and falling. This is Narrative Dreamscape. Thanks for watching.